Yo guys, what's going down? It's your boy Ali here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do an unboxing. So uh this came in the mail. Did have to open it because I had to read back what I actually bought. But uh without further ado, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> So, I did have to open it because I had to read back what she bought because it didn't come with a handlebar um, clamp or a sensor, so I had to buy them, which are coming tomorrow on the day of recording. So, this is what I bought. If you if you haven't seen the video that I posted on Monday, which is today on the recording, so. You, Anyway, I'm doing Land's End to Donna Groats next June on the 1st, so that'll be fun, average of 78 miles a day. So, bought this. Basically what it is, is a GPS bike computer that I can put all online maps or offline maps onto it, so Strava, um, Commute, um, stuff like that. So if I open it up, firstly, you've actually got the actual f computer itself. So, oh, it has turned on. So that's what it's like. So English. Um, Time zone. I need to do the time. So bear with me one sec. I'm just gonna set it up so that so it comes up with that. I'm just gonna set it up a sec. Okay, so I've paired it up with my phone. So it is now blue it is a Bluetooth basically device. So like I said, it's got it's a 2.5 inch screen. Um satellite navigation, um USB C charging, which is there it claims to have a 30 hour battery life so as long as it does a full ride then sleep then would we'll charge while i'm sleeping then you know it should be fine um so like i said it doesn't come with um handlebar um clip but it does come with it does come with sort of one clip So that there clips onto it, like so, I'll show you. So those two there, those lines there, it's got to match up with those lines there. Hear that clip? That means it's secured. So hopefully that can actually lock onto the bike, hopefully. And to undo it exactly the same way, off. There is actually, oh no, there's not. So uh, that's basically that. So you can download maps off, like I said, Komoot and stuff like that, and start your ride. So hopefully, I'll have to work out how that does that. But what we will be doing is tomorrow, well, on the day of recording on Tuesday, um, which is tomorrow for me, I'll be doing a long bike ride. So from... Penzance to Land's End to St Ives out to Hale then back to Penzance see how many miles that is because obviously I've got to train for Land's End John O'Groats so uh, that's going to be fun we have bought I have bought some stuff as well for it so uh, hopefully they arrive soon 
so that's pretty much that and that's a quick startup guide for it that you get as well um, so that's all the sensor bits and bobs which is there all you need to know there so uh, hopefully that works Obviously, I've never tried it. Oh, I see. I see. So these here. Right, so these here, I see what these are for now. Just had a look. So if you have a look there. That's how to put it on. So. We'll get, that will go on like that, then around. So what we'll do is I'll have a look, I'll show you now how to do it. So if this works, this will go on the middle bit, the, the stem of my bike. Which one's the bigger one? Oh, there's that the same size. Right, bear with me, I'll go and do it and I'll show you. So that's how you do it. So that one there goes right round to that one there. That one there goes right round to there. So that is secure. So what you do, do pop it on like that. No, you won't. Okay. <laughs> right, I need to just change that. So bear with me. There you go. So look, basically like that. That goes on like that. And then on like that. So to turn it on, that button there. And it comes out with that. Don't worry about the time, it is a little bit off. So uh, all you do, press the button down here, ride, wait for GPS. There we go. Then, come out of it. The down buttons which are here on the side, where you can see up and down, down buttons are here. Ride mode, navigation. Training, history, and back to ride mode. So like I said, 30 hour battery life. We'll have to test it out, see if it actually is 30 hours. So yeah, so basically, I'll have to figure out how to actually do this properly. But, so to turn it off, hold in, and then do that to turn it off. There we go. So that is basically how you set up. You don't need this bike sensor. The sensor that I have bought goes on to either there or there. Not too sure exactly, but it does connect up to that. And it does says it got a 30 hour battery life. Um, that handlebar stem I probably don't need. I'll just keep it just in case, but I'll probably end up selling it. Lovely job wasted, 10, 10 quid. But uh, that is that. All I've got left is um, some new shoes coming, which these bought from Amazon aren't exactly the best. But uh, there we are. Because the clip has actually broke off this one and it's not even a year old. So uh, yeah, go figure. Lights are staying because obviously handlebar stem is actually screwed in, which is good. I like that. But uh, I like... I like with um, no cable ties, it's quite cool. It'll probably be the same for that. But uh, yeah. So that is how to unbox and set up your um, bike GPS. This is the first one I've had, so I'll have to figure out how to probably do it. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video. So, excuse me. So if you like what I'm doing, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button. And um, please subscribe as only this is actually subscribed. Please, come on. Helps me out. So, uh, yeah, next next year, I'll be doing Land's End on the Groats. Yay. So, uh, that's it. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.